Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Josh and you're watching Our History. Today we're going over the life of Lady Anne Barnard, who in the context of South Africa was the wife of Andrew Barnard, who was the colonial secretary of the Cape of Good Hope and produced a remarkable series of letters, journals and drawings she had published in 1901 under the title South Africa as a century ago. So if you enjoy this, please be sure to like and if you're new here, consider smashing the subscribe button. If this isn't your first rodeo and you haven't shown some love to the subscribe, now is your opportunity. Thank you for watching. Lady Anne Barnard was a Scottish travel writer, artist and socialite who lived from 1750 to 1825. She is also known for her ballad Aud Robin Gray. One of the notable aspects of her life was her five-year residence in Cape Town, South Africa. Although her time there was short, it had a significant influence on the cultural and social scene of the era. Lady Anne Barnard's presence in Cape Town brought a touch of sophistication and refined taste to the local society. Her contributions as an artist and writer also left a lasting impact on the cultural life of the city. Early Life Lady Anne Lindsay, the eldest of nine children, was born at Balcarres house in Fife to Anne Lindsay and James Lindsay, the fifth Earl of Balcarres. Her mother enlisted Henrietta Cumming as the governess for Anne and her sisters Margaret and Elizabeth Lindsay. Anne recalled Cumming to be an unconventional governess who refused to eat unless joined by the family. Although Cumming, later known as Fordyce, was determined to care for the children, she declined any form of payment for Lady Anne's mother. Cumming continued to serve as their governess until the early 1880s. In 1793, Anne made a significant move to London and subsequently married Andrew Barnard, which earned her the title of Lady Anne Barnard. Andrew Barnard, who was 12 years younger than Anne, was the son of Thomas Barnard, who served as the Bishop of Limerick. Lady Anne Barnard played a pivotal role in securing an important position for her husband. She obtained an appointment for Andrew as the Colonial Secretary of the Cape of Good Hope, which was under British military control at the time. The appointment was made possible through her connections with Viscount Malville. Stay at the Cape Lady Anne Barnard's travels to the Cape in March 1797 and her subsequent stay until January 1802 hold considerable historical significance. Her letters and diaries addressed to Melville, the Secretary for War and the colonies at the time provide valuable insights into the people, events and social life of that era. Lady Anne was well known as a socialite, remembered for her role as official hostess of Earl McCartney at the Castle of Good Hope, where she organized various entertaining events. Her extensive collection of letters, journals and drawings was published in 1901 under the title South Africa a Century Ago, making it an essential source of information for understanding the life of South Africa during that period, later life. In 1806, after the British recaptured the Cape, Andrew Barnard was reinstated as colonial secretary. However, Anne Barnard, his wife, made the decision to stay in London instead of joining him in the Cape. Unfortunately, Andrew passed away in 1807, leaving Anne to spend the rest of her life in London. Tragically, Anne Barnard died in May 6, 1825 at Berkeley Square. She led a quiet life in London after her husband's death and her passing marked the end of an era for Anne Barnard and her contributions to British colonial administration. Legacy Lady Anne Barnard is honored in various ways in Cape Town. One such tribute is a chamber in the Castle of Good Hope referred to as Lady Anne's Barnard's Ballroom. Additionally, a road in the Newlands suburb where the Barnards resided bears the name Lady Anne Avenue. Furthermore, a meticulously carved sculpture of Lady Anne is on display in the foyer of the Civic Centre in the neighbouring suburb of Claremont. Lastly, the Barnard's former country house, known as the Vineyard, has been preserved and now operates as part of a hotel. These landmarks serve as a lasting testament to Lady Anne's historical significance and contributions to Cape Town. If you made it this far, I hope you're really enjoying this channel. And if you'd like to support the creation of more content like this, because all contributions are greatly appreciated, consider joining the channel in the membership tab or check out the Patreon link in the description below.